Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Bandelette. Okay, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch. Mainly for myself, so don't freak out if you can't see this. This is just to make sure I have everything in the right place. And that I include all the details that I want. Um, sometimes, you know, we get crazy, have fun, and I forget about certain things. So it's just nice to uh, sketch to make sure that, A, I've got it all in there, and B, I didn't forget anything. So while I'm doing that, that also helps that it lets me decide on a pose and uh, get everything in the right place. So uh, I will switch over to uh, Sharpie in a minute, and you'll be able to see much better. But for now, it's just me uh, placing my stuff where I want it to be. Like, uh, there's not a lot of detail in her. Uh, color is going to take care of most of it. But uh, there are a lot of cool things, and I want to make sure that I, I get all the details in. Because, uh, like the tiny little bullets everywhere, uh, I would have forgotten those, and... You know, we would have had to start over, or I would have got some complaints, mostly from myself, saying, hey, dum-dum, that's uh, missing this. And, uh, you know what, maybe dum-dum's not the right word. That's not the uh, nice word to say to yourself or anybody. But uh, I would say, hey, goofball. That's, that's nicer, right? Say, hey, goofball, you forgot that. And that's what we really liked about it. So I uh, just kind of sketch out to uh, make sure I don't forget anything and to uh, uh, get good practice in too. I mean, the only way you're going to get better is by practice and doing these sketches always helps out. So, you know, it's better even though uh, I'm just throwing ideas out there, just drawing, and I'm just basically telling you, put a line here, put a line there it's better to always practice for yourself because ultimately you're going to be able to draw whatever you want because you can sketch you know that's the best way to look at it and you're not always going to be uh you know drawing exactly what you want first because it's going to take a while to get there the the old joke is how do you get to carnegie hall practice 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 the joke is that you know uh, you're not going to do something uh, right until you practice over and over again. And that's really what it's all about. Just, you know, drawing, drawing bad until you draw good. That's just that's the best way you can look at it because uh, you may not be happy or it may come naturally to you. If it comes naturally to you, that's, that's great, you know. And uh, there's not much you got to worry about. You know, you just got to worry about you know, keeping that, that practice up the best thing you can do and uh that's also what practice is for or sketching is for is getting your practice up uh okay let's do that there and oh and so another thing i was trying to i think i'm rambling i don't remember if i got to this part or not what i was trying to say is uh there's a lot of uh coloring that's going to take care of a lot of this but a lot of detail that i want to do but the coloring is actually really cool so um, I just got to make sure I leave the places to color in there, too, because that's part of it is, uh, you know, because certain things are colored, certain things are not. I just want to make sure I get it all because uh, uh, the color, since the coloring is most of it, I just got to make sure that it's, it's available. OK, I think I'm ready. Uh, I'm going to switch over to Sharpie and you can continue with a pencil. Or start with the pencil or continue with the Sharpie, whatever you want to do. Uh, vice versa, you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to start off with the Sharpie pen because it's got the, the sharpest point for the tiny things like the eyeballs. It's kind of the make or break for me. If I don't like this, I start over. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the almond eyes is what I always say. This one I kind of stop because the hair is going to cover it up like that. It's just my marker to tell me where it's going to be. So I draw the other part of the eye. And I'm going to go ahead and draw the pupils like that. Okay. 
And there's not too much I'm going to draw for the facial features because if you start going overboard with the pen, it's going to disappear, you know? So I'm just going to kind of give her a brow like that, give her another one like that. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down just a little bit to uh, indicate the nose. Okay, and a couple of lines like that is all you really got to do. You, you don't have to worry too much about it. So let's give her a little bit of a smile, top lip bottom lip and I think that's good so let's go ahead and draw her facial features so I'm going to give her a chin because I know where that's in the center and I can build off of that I'm going to give her a jaw up like this and then I'm going to do the other jaw over here like this I'm going to build it off of the ear which is about right there is what I'm going to give it and then come down and connect it right about there okay and I think that's going to be it for the uh thin sharpie I'm going to switch over to the fat one and so I'm just going to thicken these lines up just a little bit just so they all match and uh, we can go from there because this other sharpie is really really fat and I don't want to look too odd so let's draw off to the hairline is what's going to make the big the big difference here so I'm just going to kind of draw like that and then I can build off of that okay let's go ahead and connect that just a touch and let's draw her headband, which I'm going to have like this. Come over here like that. And then I can build everything else off of this. So she's got some uh, some whippy hair, is what I like to call it. So I just kind of whip it up like that. Bring another big piece up like this artistically. I know that's kind of crazy. It's a little bigger than the actual picture. But this is our drawing. We can get uh, as crazy with it as we want. Okay? So no one can tell you you're right or wrong. Eh, except maybe Fortnite, right? Uh, or Epic Games, whatever, whoever they're called. Uh, so let's um, draw the rest of her hair. I'm going to draw one piece that goes over like that. And then I draw the other top part like this. And that's kind of over the rest of it. So the underside is going to be here and connect to that. Okay. And then I'm going to draw another little whippy piece in there like that. Kind of having fun with it. Just drawing where I think it's going to be, you know. Draw another whippy piece there. And whip that there. And do this here, and whip that there, and there you go. And there is her hairline. Okay, so we're done with the hair, so let's move on to the body. And um, she has bullets on a necklace here that I think I'm going to wait to get everything else done, and then I'll add it with the sharp sharpie last, I guess. Let me see. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, why I thickened it up, because these lines are super thin compared to this. That looks a little odd to me, so I don't like that. I'm going to thicken it up just a hair, just to make myself happy. And that's it. Okay, so let's do the, the, the bandolier uh, on top of her like this first. And that's going to kind of guide us with everything else. And that's, I think that's, you know, that's, that's a good choice to call her uh, band, band, bandurette because that's basically what this is. This is a bandolier which is basically uh, a strap or a belt, but um, it holds things. Uh, and in this case, she's got bullets going across. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to draw lines like this because I can't really draw bullets. I mean, I can kind of do like that, add a little bump. Yeah, we'll do that, let's, but let's, let's add the lines. And I'm adding the lines first to get the flow of the way it's gonna go. because I want it like this. And like that and so same thing here I'm just gonna follow this go across or not go across but uh, follow the pattern going up like that then we'll come back and add those little bumps for the bullet I guess these are 22s or not 22 shotgun shells I don't know okay so let's add that little edge bump just a hair and if you don't no big deal I'm just doing it to kind of give it that that look of something rather than it's flat you know All right, there you go. The top doesn't really, you can't really see it, but we can go ahead and do something like that. Just to kind of give it that rounded look, you know, kind of round off the top. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that to the whole thing. Just to give it that rounded shape. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Go for it. Okay, so let's build off of that. So now I'm gonna draw her uh, chest. Um, to build off of this. So I know her arm's going to be about right there so I could build 
into this and this will draw her her waist over here and I'm gonna draw her um, um, chest piece like this okay and that'll also give me an edge that if I want to add the bullets now let's do that and I'm just gonna do something like this nothing too special like that and I'll go ahead and add just a little bit of dots for a chain something like that see nothing special nothing crazy you can do that with a pencil or you can do a straight line if you want you go go nuts do what you want to do so now we can draw the rest over and I'm gonna have her hands kind of in an up position like this because she's a strong person so I'm gonna draw her arm like this and she has uh, bullets on another armband here. So that's kind of why I did that little bump. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna add that little bump and add her shoulder. So now I'm just gonna do this and come back with a sharp Sharpie again and draw the little bullets. Just something like that, just to indicate that there's something on there, you know? You can't go too crazy in a picture like this because it's so small. It's pointless to try to get in there and go nuts with it. So, okay, so let's draw her arm up. So I'm gonna draw her forearm over like this. Same thing, I'm gonna draw this one. Now she's got uh, the arm protector on, so that's kind of why I, I stopped there and did that. So I'm gonna draw her elbow to her arm. And I'm gonna have her fist up like this, super simple. We're gonna just draw our hand up like that, draw the knuckles like that. And then we just kind of kind of do this. Boom! Easy to do because it's the back of her hand so you can get away with drawing less, right? So now let's switch over to this side. And so we're going to draw her shoulder over here. Her arm's going to come in like this. And so the same thing, she's got that armband across. I'm just going to kind of do that. That'll help me define where everything is. I'm going to come here to her forearm. And I'm going to stop right about there because she has on a, a wrist protector. So I'm going to draw her elbow. Same thing to about right there. And then I'm going to draw that wrist protector to her wrist, like that. And then same thing, I'm going to draw her hand kind of like this. Okay, so I'm going to draw the back of her hand up to her knuckles, finger in like that, or pinky like that. And that's all we got to do. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Draw her thumb over all of that. Okay, so now I'm just going to draw just a hint of a few fingers. Nothing... Nothing too crazy. All right, and let's seal that off like that, okay? Makes more sense? Perfect. So let's keep going. Let's, gonna, uh, let's draw her pants and her little uh, leg container, which again has bullets on it, is right here in front. So let's draw that first. And then I can draw everything else behind it um, to uh, um, draw what's in front, what's in back. Uh, I'm sorry, canteen, did I say leg container? Duh, you know what it contains? Water, so that makes it a canteen. But again, it's got bullets on it, so we're gonna draw those bullets. And again, you don't have to, I'm just, you know, she's got that unique thing about her, so I'd hate to skip it all, you know? And those are holding it on like that. All right. And so now I could draw the rest of her. Uh, let's draw her waist into the belt and draw the belt something like that down to the leg and so let's draw that belt let's draw the uh, buckle into the first loop and I like to skip the loops that way it looks like it's the cloth you know it's the material like that it's just something I've always done since I was a kid okay uh, so let's draw the rest of her legs. So I'm going to come in about right there where her crotch is going to be, down to her knees, to there. That's where her boot and leg strap is going to be, okay? So let's go ahead and draw the um, little knee protector, knee pad that she's got right there. That'll help us um, define everything else, okay? And so let's bring this other leg in, into the picture too. So she's got a pack on, but we can just go ahead and just draw the leg in like this. She doesn't have a knee protector over there, so we're gonna draw the pants to the boots like that. Okay, and so she's got straps holding that pack on over here. 
and uh, there are bullets in that too. So, uh, oh no, those aren't holding the pack on. Those are just straps, that's all it is. The pack is over here. We're gonna do something like that. So let's draw those bullets. And they're going through that, so it's okay that we're going to go through it like this. Because look, ultimately I did the same thing over here anyway, so it doesn't matter what's going through. It's got to hold on anyway. Okay, I think that's good for that. So, let's just finish off her legs. So she's got the knee protector, or the shin protector. Comes out like that, and that's going to come to her boot which is like this when it's behind that so you don't have to draw too much of it and there are straps going across that so we're just going to do like that another one going like that and that'll keep us from having to draw too much material or, or detail and uh, now we're going to draw her other boot so we're going to come in like this down to the, uh, the heel and, and draw the boot so I'm going to draw the front of her shoe to the front like that that looks way off but I'm gonna make that work I'm gonna play with it go one more line this way do it like that and draw the front of it like that so a little bit off but that's okay we're just gonna keep going because this is how we draw no one can tell you you're wrong right oh they can but it's up to you to decide whether they're right or not and add the treads same thing treads okay and the last thing I see I forgot to do is I'm going to add the uh, strap to her belt and I think we'll be done and I'll take care of the coloring with the rest because all the camouflage and all that stuff uh, is pointless to draw it in. We'll just color it in and it'll look better that way. Okay, so uh, we'll take care of we'll color, take care of the rest with color. For now, that is Bandolette. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.